So for the next one, um, I call it automotive motorsports. Uh, very similar medium range scanners. You're probably gonna see this slide a lot with uh, the medium range market, especially for Design X. So we have this automotive uh, panel, uh, motorsports panel, right? That we created. We'll step through this because there's a couple tools in here that are really original for this workflow too. So here we are in DX. You see, there's the scan data. Gorgeous scan data. And we will roll back and take a gander at what we did here. So like before, you'll see here that we have a copied mesh. So what they did, this is really cool. Um, what they did with that is they went ahead and selected um, a portion of the model they selected a bunch of the model and we'll just let's do it this way i'm not going to do everything but something along these lines um and they went ahead and selected all of this we uh create a region out of it like this And at first, you might not understand this unless you've seen somebody do this this way. And I've done one, done done something like this. It's actually kind of a neat idea of um, using either either the loft wizard or a mesh fit to then create a boundary fit surface, which we'll talk about here in a second. So we created a region. Do that one more time. Created region. Insert. So it didn't, they didn't create a region in this one, but the idea here, this is the way I do it, is I'll create a region and then do it. But you can just jump over to mesh fit and create a mesh fit from the surface here like this. And just select all of it. I'm not going to bother like doing all of it real quick, but I'll just say, okay, fit this, and then have it just wrap over the entire surface, just like blanketing out over the entire thing, right? And create a mesh fit surface like that, right? Then here's another really cool trick. If I come over to polygons and say convert to mesh and click on this and then you can you can see I have it cranked to 11 there hit this create a high resolution turn that off so I just made another one another mesh fit from that and you'll see what we're going to do with that in a second but here's theirs which is better than they, they did created a nice selection first and all that for um, to get an, a better fit so they created that, converted it back. Now what we're going to do is come over to roll forward and create a 3D sketch on the entire thing here following the flow lines of square-sided patches um, drawing directly on there by using the 3D sketch, right? So if I just double-click in this and come in and just draw splines right on here like we did before, like that and draw the patch network right on the entire shape so you can follow these flow lines and draw them and you can create them in a whole host of ways i just drew it but you can draw sections so like you can say i want to create a cross section like that like this see that and it's creating curves through that draw on the polygon once you have your network laid out I'm going to cancel out of that and get rid of this. Then you can come over to boundary fit, which those of the, those of you that have followed me for a while or been in any of my trainings or demos or whatever, know that I love this, this tool, this boundary fit tool, which is found in the menu add-ins legacy boundary fit is where it is. 
which soon to be added back to the ribbon in here as a full-fledged no longer legacy but boundary fit back back into the main ribbon here so now that we created that boundary fit i'll turn that off you'll see here oh, i have a surface that's fit then come back over and say offset surface and this one is an offset not offset zero right we created an offset there um, they reverse the normal of the surface and we just keep on trucking here so roll forward now we're going to cut this hole here so now let's go ahead and turn the mesh on so we can see what we're looking at here there we go so now we're going to go ahead and create some of the mounts so trim create that extend it looks like they're going to create another one trim 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 looks like they wanted to create all the holes first so we'll keep going forward here you can hide the surfaces for a second to kind of see hide the regions too so it looks like they did this one next the standoff roll forward and cut all the different pockets so you see here again i'll skip forward some of these because these are boring but the innovative the most innovative piece of this really is the fact that at the beginning they did a mesh fit boundary fit to create that blanket surface then come back and do all of the the heavy lifting later where we're trimming all these pieces away and jumping forward here i want to get to where we trim the outside there we go so now we have uh they've created some of the outside just go to front view again here create some of the outside surfaces that we're going to use as a tool to create the ex external trim yep so you see here we're going to lay out all of the external trim lines lots of surface trimming on this one this is a surface trimming tutorial here so here's that one and yeah, we'll just keep going we'll get to somewhere it makes more sense to highlight it here there we go some more cutting away and at some point sometimes it's good to like okay turn on the you can turn the mesh on and off there and you see turn the mesh to see where we're at and I gotta speed up a little bit more so we have time to show the last one because there's an interesting interesting tactic for the last one as well so there we go we did a bunch of trim trims and surface loss here you'll see here in a second trim all those edges back because it wraps around it's not just that shape you see we have all these offset areas where it has to fit doing some split faces and then delete all these edges it looks like they did a split face and delete some of the edges and we're getting there roll to the end here 
So we'll just take a gander when it finishes recalculating. There we go. 